What's good YouTube, Nocturnal Duck back with a brand new deck just for you and what, what's that? You want a mono red deck without Calamity? You got it. All right, so we've got this mono red beast without the calamity. Okay, so we can make that clear. But I wanted to do a deck, a mono red deck that wasn't using it because it seems to go in every red deck. So I want to see what other things red could do without said calamity. And this is the one that jumped out to me the most. Uh, Tor, Tor Brand. I've only got two copies, so forgive me. I will have four eventually. This guy is broken, and I wanted to build a whole deck based off what his shenanigans will be. And basically what it's going to do is, every time we do damage to face, it's going to do an extra two damage. But it's also to creatures or whatever, which can come into play, but we're mainly trying to just go straight to face and get extended damage through with Torbrand. So the cards I decided to run with is a, four copies of Scorch Bitter, because he attacks in and that one damage turns into three if we have a Torbrand down. Our Spear Spewer, this does the same thing. You tap this, it will do three damage to them, one to us. Our Ember Hauler, he's going to be a pretty decent blocker. Pay one and do four damage to face. Our Bone Crusher Diant's going to do six damage to face. Uh, sorry, four damage to face. But if we get him down swinging and he gets through, then that's, a, that's going to be attacking for six. Um, we also have our Dagger Caster. This guy is going to come down, do one damage to everything or three damage to everything plus three damage to face. So that's crazy good. Um, and then we also have the Chandra's Spitfire because all this damage to face is just gonna make him stupidly big and then we swing in. And I've got a few little loopy bits in here. So the Iron Crag Pyromancer, this is going to do five damage if we manage to draw a second card in our turn and we have a Torbrand down. So it's not gonna happen all the time. I've only got three copies of her and then I've only got the two regulators, so that's the only way I can actually draw extra cards. But it's not something that I wanted to build around. I was going to go with a whole, you know, sorry. <laughs> I was going to go with a whole brewing around drawing cards and doing damage through this. But I feel like this still works. Like the two copies of the Shanders regulator mean we can discard a red card or a mountain and do five damage to face or to creature. Um, we also have our Mask of Immolation because this actually does quite a lo lot of work for the deck. It's going to come down as a 1-1, one, one, then you sacrifice it to face doing 3 damage with the Torbrand. Or if you have a Spitfire out, it's just a way to get that damage through. But then late game, you'll be surprised how often you just throw these on a bunch of creatures, sacrifice them all, and they all do extra damage. 3, 6, 9, and then you swing in with a 7-3 seven, seven, or whatever it ends up being. Um, so the regulator is in here to sort of inch the Iron Crag Pyromancer along a little bit, but also for the two copies of the Chandra Novice Pyromancer. So she works in a couple of ways. There's the Spitfire and the Spitter for the plus one, giving them, you know, the buff. So you can buff them by two. The minus one adding two red mana can come into play just to get extra things down. So you drop her on turn four, minus one her, and then drop a mask or a ember hauler or whatever you need. The minus two is going to go crazy with the regulator. So if you can manage to have both of them down with the Torbran, you minus two and do six damage straight to face, and then you're getting a big swing in with this, hopefully. So there's a few little loopity doops. I do have another deck. I cloned this deck, whole deck tech, and done the brew around the Iron Crag and the um, Torbran drawing machine. And it's got all of the discard, the Glindhorn Siphoner, it's got all of the draws, and it works really good, but it also isn't as fast moving as this. This on turn four, you can be, the game's done. You've, you've won by turn four, and because you're doing so much damage to face, they end up playing very defensively. They, they abandon their plan of getting their damage through and just sort of keep their creatures up to block, and little do they know we don't even need any of the damage to get through. We, you know, do damage to face, damage to face, 
damage the face, damage the face, damage the face, and damage the face. So all of that is going to just trigger their Spitfires and hopefully our Torbrand and end the game early. So that's pretty much the deck. I've got 22 lands. I've got the four Dwarven Mines because having a 1-1 one, one come down to throw a mask on can come into play crazily. And I've only have one copy of the castle, so I'd have more if I had more. <laughs> so yeah, 22 lands is what I've decided to run because we only go up to turn four. Uh, most of the game happens before then. So yeah, that's pretty much the deck. It's pretty fast moving, pretty heavy hitting, and it's a fun build for the mono red, for, for a difference anyway. So let me know if you want to see the other deck because it's a very uh, unique one as well, using that Pyromancer tour brand combo, like I said. Do, drawing all of your deck and doing all the damage that way so if you're keen to see that hit me up in the comments and i'll post it or i'll go live with it one of the two but until then let's get into some games all right we'll keep this full control go away okay Sure. Waste a shock on a 1-1. One, one. No drama. Go for the Scryzel. Um, no, not yet. Put another Noble out. Nobles all round. Nobles for everybody. Let's throw another shock at this one. Oh, that's pretty nice. And we'll just leave it at that. Discard. Okay. We'll gain a life off that instead. Okay, so I think we need these going down for our nobles. Past turn. So now he's going to get rid of him. Maybe not. We'll block there. Not taking seven. I feel like he's most certainly waiting for. Okay, so this is where we're in a bit of a pickle. Do you have a lava coil? No, you do have one of them though. Yeah, take seven. I don't think we're going to come out of this one very healthily. Put him down to the 4 4. Okay, we can't take another 7. Okay, so we'll put her down. turn and another murderous rider all right so we'll keep this okay so there's our third mana for our giant sure Get the oh, he's blocking. Maybe not. <laughs> Thought about it. Reconsidered quickly. Oh, yeah. 
Okay. Yeah. I will block there. And you're gonna buff it. That's fine if you do. Nice. Nice one, Greg. Nice one, Greg. Um, yeah, we'll go in. He's going to block. And we'll take away his ramp. Alright, so now what do you got? Nothing. Um, I'm actually going to get this guy down. <clears throat> so if he has an answer, he can do it. Now, do you have an answer? So he does not have an answer. We'll put this guy down. And get in some damage. Six damage to be precise. Okay, so what do you got now? Something to block? Sure. You're not gonna like my next move then. Um. So let's see how this goes. Wipe him off the board. Swing in for six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Boom. <laughs> Turn four win. That's sort of the way this deck rolls out. It's pretty good. And without Calamity as well, which is freaking phenomenal. Alright, we're gonna keep this. It's not the best opener. But I wanna see what it what it's gonna do here. I wonder what colours we're facing. Mirror match will probably lose because we've got all sort of mid to late game red. Okay. Might be in with a bit of a chance now. Get our two damage in. turn let this guy do what he needs to do I'm just gonna try and get rid of the Spitfire I'm sure which is fine So instead he's created a bunch of dudes. Well that's fine. Um I think this guy is probably the best. One damage to everything. Yep. 
And we'll hold him back. Like this. Pretty decent attack. Okay, didn't block. Sure. Bunch of dudes, that's pretty cool. Okay, so I think we could go. And I think we could attack in with everything here. So he has to block. I think this is the game. Yeah. So he's going to get rid of him. Which doesn't make much sense. Wait. That's fine. Oh, not that guy. This guy. Boom. And there's the game. Boom. Nice. <laughs> Very fast moving. Alright, that's going to wrap it up for me today guys, I hope you enjoyed the matches. Just a quick outro here to say thanks for bearing with me, I had a, quite a number of technical issues over the last few days, so it took me a number of days to film this surprisingly, and you probably see my outfits change a few through the matches and a couple of cards dip in and out, but this is the final result and I hope you enjoyed the longevity of it. But don't forget to like, subscribe, follow and hit me up with any uh, suggestions or future content you would like to see, but till next time. Nocturnal Duck out.